Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this is uh, Ed Fife from Dallas, Texas. And I uh, appreciate being on the Changing Times radio tonight. I'm going to be a guest on the program. And uh, I have, a <clears throat> have my own program on uh, Talk Shoe Radio. <clears throat> I've been on there for about four years now. Uh, teaching um, the organic law of this nation um, and uh, diverting our eyes away from the system which we have uh, been dealing with for a long time and have been paying, as far as I'm concerned, too much attention to. And uh, so that's what I teach on my program. And um, I've been doing this for... Oh, ever since 1979, uh, in earnest, probably more like 1980 is when I really got into it strongly and have been doing um, court work uh, out the kazoo uh, all that time. Uh, I've done, I've taken several uh, law courses and so on and so forth to learn uh, the, what I've learned so far. Most of which, I will say and add, uh, did not really carry me to where I am now. It wasn't until I um, really got to the point to where I just give up on listening to everybody else and decided that, I, that it would be best if I do my own research to find out really what was the truth about all of this. And this is where I've come to. And so, therefore, we're going to talk about that on these Changing Times radio tonight. And uh, if there's anybody, uh, Patty or Tammy, if you have any questions uh, that you want to point toward me specifically uh, about my background or anything that I teach, well, go ahead and shoot. <laughs> How do they contact you if they want to contact you um back channel i know you would introduce your your talk show and everything else how, how did the listeners contact you okay uh i'm on every wednesday night uh for the most part um at nine o'clock eastern uh eight o'clock central and so on and so forth and um the name of the program is uh liberty your inheritance and the uh, caller ID on the program is 90413. That's 9413. And uh, you can just put that in the search engine at the top uh, left, right, top right hand corner, and it will take you right to my icon, which you click on, and it takes you right to my program and where all my archives are and all that. And they, all of my programs have been archived for the past four years. Um, and so. Uh, if you want to learn more about this, we've talked about it in very much depth. And uh, matter of fact, the last program I had last when this past Wednesday, uh, we really uh, got into it heavy. And uh, so, about the past, I would say maybe seven or eight, maybe ten programs, uh, we've really uh, got into the uh, there's two parts, actually, to the to this uh, to my teaching, and that is I teach what the organic law is, and what uh, and and how the framers set up the original house, and that's the way I put it. They set up the original house, and uh, how the uh, attorneys or the or the foreign bar. Uh, has created another house, new house, inside of the house that was originally created. And so the past about 10 shows, uh, I've really been um, hammering heavy on the part about uh, how that house was created by the, by the uh, foreign bar. And... Uh, it's important for us to understand that part because if you don't understand it, the history of it, uh, you you can't you have to use that in order to along with the uh, original uh, intent of the framers, the way they created the, the first house, 
you've got to understand how that house was created because you have to extract yourself away from or out of that house uh, in, and then uh, make claim to uh, the original house uh, in order to um, extract yourself completely out of the system. Okay, and that's, that's what I teach. And what is the original house? Well, the original house is the one that the framers uh, of the Constitution, the Declaration of Independence and all, when they came to this country from England and Scotland, there was a lot of Scottish people in this country. Uh, Thomas Jefferson was a Scotsman. Um, they, uh, when they came to this country, they uh, knew where they had been and they knew uh, where they wanted to go uh, for the most part. Now, when they first created the original um, Articles Confederation, of course, uh, they left out a lot of the pertinent information that are pertinent, uh, uh, how would I say, the pertinent setup, I guess, uh, the way they, the way it should have been set up in our government. And so they had to, uh, shortly down the road, they found out that they left things out that were very vital to running the country under a republic and they uh, uh, made the republic more perfect by creating the, the 1789 Constitution of the United States. And they corrected those uh, places where they made those mistakes in the Article of Confederation. Now, the Article of Confederation still is in full force and effect where it hasn't been changed and can be referred to and used, uh, but uh, it it's like anything else. Uh, the Constitution is sort of like similar, not the same exactly, but it's similar to an amendment. And it amended the Articles of Confederation uh, where it uh, was failing. And uh, some of the places where it was failing was on the money issue, uh, the way they set up the Continental Congress. It was uh, not uh, enough. It was not complete enough to uh, operate properly for the country and so on and so forth. And, but they um, didn't completely change the whole thing. They just changed those places where it needed uh, some tweaking, you know. Right, and, as, and per, huh? right. As, as per market conditions. It was a corporation. Those were articles of incorporation. Yeah, basically, they were. But, but you know, right. the, the, the And so each amendment, each time that they entered a new article, it allowed the corporation to... Uh, derive revenue and proceeds from each of those articles of an incorporation. So it's it's more like an industrializing corporation through the articles of confederation, the constitutions, various constitutions and various other articles of an incorporation. It allowed the corporation or incorporated state. Confederacy defined, of course, in Black's Law Dictionary maintains that it's a criminal enterprise. And so all of this time, as it moves along through articles of incorporation, it's just only moving according to market conditions. But what is the market? Are you asking is a question? It, Are you Right. Is what is the what is the market? What is it referring to when it maintains market conditions? Uh, you talking about the Articles of Confederation? Well, all of it, all of the articles of incorporation, they just change faces, and, and but they're still the same incorporated state, the same company. Yeah, and so yeah. when when yeah. these adapt as per market condition, they're, the adaptation is referring to human beings as product of that corporation. Well, it it they were it was when. The, uh, each one of the 13 colonies were incorporated or, they, yeah, they had incorporation from the uh, British crown. Uh, but if you go back to history, you'll find that as time went on, uh, one by one, each one of the um, uh, uh, colonies uh, were doing things that the British king didn't like. And so he jerked their charters. And so eventually... Uh, all the charters were jerked, and that's when, uh, of course, um, the framers recognized that they needed to do a complete separation from the from the British crown, and so there was no longer any 
uh, connection to the British Crown uh, corporately anymore once they um, set up the Artist Confederation and also uh, the Constitution. They completely separated from the Declaration of Independence was the absolute separation. And after the war, of course, um, there were uh, hostilities still still standing between England and, and the United States, and uh, England uh, suggested, it was a suggestion, that they make treaty to make uh, uh, make uh, amends uh, so that they could have commerce between them because England was so small, they realized that America, they needed to have trade with America and so they suggested that they do a treaty and in fact, uh, the treaty of 1781 or I can't remember the exact date, 1787, whenever it was, uh, they, um, uh, um, the British king or it says his majesty actually uh, gave over all of its interests in the land of America in that treaty. In, in the real estate, which refers to human beings, when you go to the definition of in Black's Law Dictionary, and what had happened was England didn't give that. Secession isn't to go away from. Secession is to take over the estates of and the last name Washington for example means the estate of a man named Wassow. Now Wassow stems of course from Vassal. Uh, when, you're, when you're in the etymology of these words, the Vassal's estates were all taken over by Congress and um, the House of Representatives. Well, and the these state, estates refer to the human beings, of course, being real estate. Yeah, there well, was the, no land exchange. The letters patent stemming from the original charters, when they had came upon or taken over the landed estates, which is what the word colony means, when they had taken those over, they were taking those over by letters patent. Now, what is patent does not refer to land, it refers to real estate, human beings. And these letters are letters, they're descriptions, meaning the last names of individuals, such as Eric's son, or Lars' son, or Smith, referring to a blacksmith or a silversmith. These descriptions allow letters patent upon the original charters. Well, uh, the, the I, don't know, I don't know a whole lot about all that. All, the only only thing that I know is that they did it right. Everything was done right. I've done the research on the history of it, and they did the best they could possibly do at the time, knowing... Uh, well, it starts lot, out with out human out trafficking. If you put a letter patent on a human being, and then you traffic that being and call it a country or a ground or a landmass, that's always human trafficking by a corporate entity. Or well, corporate they, didn't do that. they didn't do that in the very beginning. In the very beginning, the first house that I'm talking about that was created by them, everyone was following the Anglo-Saxon uh, common law. Uh, and you can go back and read you know, Cooley or any of the, the major writers of that time. Uh, that they they followed not they didn't follow Cooley but they followed uh, other people prior to uh, Blackstones and so on and so forth uh, to set up this republic. And what does uh, a republic mean? What is a republic? Well, basically, the republic is a system of government whereby every man uh, is equal. In value, I mean, I mean, no, no, I shouldn't say in value. He's equal in status under the law. <clears throat> and, and it says that in the 1929 Geneva Convention, wherein human beings are held as human are uh, prisoners of war because the corporation went bankrupt in 33, and it's still the same human trafficking. And everybody's equally trafficked. Everybody's equally held as a prisoner of war. Right. Well, that's that's a creation after the fact. That's the thing. All of that, st everything. That's why I avoid all that that stuff that was created after the fact because 
You're trying uh, to it's, it's, too, it's too complicated. One thing, and it doesn't even it doesn't even have any bearing upon the original people of this country. They have they are the uh, their jurisdiction only lies for a certain class of person, and in this country, just like all other nations. Uh, we have a class, and we always will have a class. It's all, there's always a class and uh, different sets of classes in every country. It'd be the right, same. that's a requirement of genocide. It has to be classified in order for genocide to occur. Yes, like, for example, if you went to China, for example, uh, as an American... Uh, you could never become a citizen there, not not in the in the same sense or the same uh, level under the law that those who were born there and are uh, actually Chinamen. You know, you cannot become the same on the same stat, uh, status as them. Never, you never could. Even though they might call you a citizen of China, uh, you would never have the same. Uh, you would not be the privileged class of persons there. You would always be on, uh, rung down on the ladder, and just like right. you'd be a different here. concept, you'd be a different concept or thought or something created in the mind. Right, just like you, uh, you have a concept of culture, for example, and you hold on to that concept. It allows you to be pit against your brother or sister, which allows the action or facilitation of genocide, which is death of of a populace, death of a race, for example. Right. When you go to the etymology on gender, just gender, man, woman, male, female, this is a different race or stock option. And what, what you're doing is you're being traveled and transported along by the Confederacy, which is a criminal enterprise incorporated by Articles of Incorporation, floating, floating, along the high seas since the 1924 uh, Covenant of the League of Nations, where you're just sticking yourself into a mall. That's what a citizen is, one subject to the laws, one subject to the laws and constitution thereof. Yes, well, well, every what citizen is, is subject to some law. Every citizen is subject to some law. It doesn't matter who they are. Like, for example, the original citizens of this country that were created by law, or I mean, uh, yeah, they were created, they were actually not created, but they were uh, defined at law. Then they were defined, uh, if you look at the preamble of the United States Constitution, you know, it says, it doesn't define it there, but it does say in the preamble that uh, they created this country, claimed the country, and, and, and set it up for themselves and their posterity. All right. And Absolutely. So without without allowing the actual heirs to have any placement thereof, because well, once no. secession occurred, now secession defined in Black's Law Dictionary, eighteen ninety one, maintains in the civil law and in Louisiana, number one, the fact of the transmission of the rights, estate, obligation, and charges of a deceased person to his heir or heirs. Number two, the right by which the heir can take possession of the descendant's estate. And now, what are they referring to in descendancy? Now, the Declaration of Independence. When you go to the etymology on independent, it means not the opposite of dependent. That means that they have declared everybody dead with the Declaration of Independence. You're in a pending state. You're lost at sea. You have no idea who you are. And why is this? Because you are being offered concepts. You're being called a man. That's a legal creation. You're being called an individual. That's a legal creation. That is something created in the mind. And when you are holding on to these things, you're actually evidencing that you're dead. You're lost at sea. You don't know who you are. You started out as an original called the United States of Being, and you were seceded by what is known as the United States of America, defined as a style or chain of events in the Articles of Confederation. That's not a landmass. That says it's a style. It says it's a chain of congressional acts 
elections. So Congress came in and it shook hands with itself because it was a representation to the original 13 colonies, which didn't exist. They were concepts. And so Congress said, I'll be the representation. And then he said, what? I'll be yours. And this is how the Lord God takes over the Garden of Eden and starts sticking human beings in it to dress it up. You're here as an object, a thing, a concept, nothing of reality. But you have to be a fiction in order to be within a corporation and to be human trafficked, to be killed at will, and to be part of this thing that's actually the United States of America in Pogrom, P-O-G-R-O-M, which means you're going to be at some point assassinated, uh, obliterated, murdered to facilitate commerce and trade, commerce and navigation. This stems from the absolute original charters, the Charter of Ursu, the Gelnhausen Charter, when the House of Gelm had it, Congress, when Congress came in, they came in as a House of Representatives. This is what they do. They represent you in order to hold on to your estates and take you, the heir's inheritance. Now, number three is the estate of a deceased person comprising all kinds of property owned or claimed by him, as well as his debts and obligations and considered as a legal entity. Okay, and you can look this up. The letter A, defining black law dictionary, means a hypothetical person. So each time you're referenced in any way or represented, you're being hypothecated and allowed to be that fiction. And this stems from Black Acre, White Acre, the greatest, most efficient fictional creation on this planet is a human being calling itself man, woman, girl, boy, and buying their rights from the same entity that stole it in the first place. And I'll read on. Secession is the transmission of the rights and obligations of the deceased to the heir. Secession signifies also the estate rights and charges which a person leaves after his death, whether the property exceeds the charges or whether charges exceed the property or whether he has only left charges without any property. Now, secession didn't say that Congress went away from England. It said it seceded your estates and called you that dead thing. And again, they repeated that action with the Declaration of Independence and the original Articles of Confederation and the other Articles of Confederation called the Constitution and then the other Articles of Confederation called the Amendments, the Covenant of the League of Nations, the United Nations Charter. All of these things enable a corporation to use human beings as product under a business model. Well, uh, I, I when I was doing my research, I didn't find all that. Right. Not 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 in not not in the way that you are saying because um, I don't really know know how to answer what you said because it's uh, confusing to me. But the thing that I found was that the when the framers set up the country, uh, they set up an original. Uh, organic uh, system that stemmed from the common law, the Anglo-Saxon common law, all the way back to Magna Carta and even before. And they followed all those tenets um, under a due process uh, for all the people of the land that were the citizens of the land. And those citizens of the land, which were identified by Thomas Jefferson, as a matter of fact, in um, the very one of, one of the very first acts um, in the very first volume of the statutes at large, uh, they identified the people of this land, and um, they uh, I, said those people had the benefit of the rule of law. And I've got a transcript from a an attorney uh, who identified those people uh, in a uh, American Bar Association meeting uh, in 2010 in uh, California, uh, and he was the keynote speaker. His name was David Boys, and he it was the same counsel 
who counseled for um, uh, Al Gore in his 2000 election challenge. And so he was, uh, he is a top attorney, and he explained who the people who had the rule of law, the fundamental rights and all, in his uh, speech, his keynote speech. As a matter of fact, I just got through quoting that in one of my briefs uh, to the court. Right. Uh, to prove up, to prove up that the system understands who the true citizens of this nation are from the very beginning, and um, all the rest are could never be citizens. It's like uh, if you read, go back and read um, the. Right, an attorney's uh, not a citizen because it's uh, taken he, an oath to another government called the bar. Yeah, yes, he he in effect expatriates himself when he becomes a member of the bar. Yes. Right. He could be right. a citizen. Now, now here's the kicker. The um, he came in under the for on behalf of the American Bar Association. The American Bar Association is under the under the control of the um, House of Delegates, which are is the lower chambers of the House of Representatives in West Virginia, Virginia, and New Hampshire. And so all of this pretense, he comes in and says he's the bar, but he's actually acting at the behest of Congress or the Confederated State which, again, Confederacy and Black's Law Dictionary defines Confederacy as a criminal enterprise. Well, it is now, for sure, <laughs> because they changed it. No, uh, it's always been that way. It started out that way. Uh, when we go into the definition of civil death out of Black's Law Dictionary, uh, First Addiction, 1891, Civil death is that condition in a person's legal and civil condition which deprives him of civic rights and judicial capacities and qualifications. His natural death extinguishes his natural condition. It follows as a consequence of being attainted of treason or felony in English law and anciently of entering a monastery or abjuring the realm. The person in this condition is said to be civil iter mortis, civilly dead or dead in law. Right. That is what a citizen is. It's civilly dead because the action of a taint was hidden. Now, in 1794, when Congress first declared bankruptcy the first time, they came in with the treaty. A treaty is an agreement between two banks, not two countries. It's two banks. They came in with the Treaty of Comedy, or sorry, Amity, Commerce, and navigation of uh, 1794. And in this, now now this is the funny part about uh, being a taint of felon, they posted the United States of being, meaning by mail. So what they've done is they said, well, we're going to punish them, penalize them, since we're a penal colony, we're using the last name as a description. Because again, that's a fiction. You don't know who you are, so you are a Polonius. They transferred this over into, and you can read this today, it's called 18 U.S. Code, subsection 1342, fictitious name or address. And anyone who assumes or uses a fictional name and takes that out of the mailbox is a felon. They're posting their own bonds. Now, this is a means of discharging congressional bankruptcy. And again, this goes back to the Declaration of Independence declaring you to be in a pending state. That pending state can be seen at 38 U.S.C. subsection 108. Seven-year absence, presumption of death. Now, they said that you lost at sea at this point because you don't have no idea who you are and you're claiming you're a fiction. I'm so-and-so Erickson or I'm so-and-so Jefferson. I'm so-and-so Larson. And every time you're claiming that name that's owned by letters patent, you're violating patent law. You really are a felon because that's not your fictional name. Somebody else named you, called you that. So they're supposed to be getting the derivatives. And that same someone is the one that succeeded your estates. It's quite amazing and profound what Congress, which means with transgression, actually did upon human beings. Well, here, here's here's my research. This is how I here I, how I saw it. Okay, from doing the oh, research. Oh, we're coming up on the half an hour break. Okay. Patty's going to throw in a song here. I think uh, we can pick it up after this music. Okay. Okay.
We're back, folks. Uh, uh, what uh, I'm going to do, I'm uh, Ed Fife from Dallas, Texas, and I'm uh, joining uh, Tammy Peppermint and Patty uh, on These Changing Times Radio uh, to um, explain my research into uh, the original law and how the frame, framers set up this country and how uh, a person and, and the research that I found how a person can actually extract themselves out of that uh, foreign system that has been created within the system. Uh, they are very vulnerable. <laughs> they're, they're, it's, uh, it's so uh, laughable that it's been right in front of our face and we haven't even seen it. And it took me a while to really click to the answer but there is an answer. And uh, so I have a program uh, on um, uh, Talk Shoe, which is called Liberty and Inheritance. Uh, it is at uh, ID number 90413. Um, we, uh, the program comes on every Wednesday night at 9 o'clock Eastern. And uh, if a person goes over there, I have um, four years of archives of teaching uh, on this very subject, explaining how the how the original system was set up and how the modern so-called system, quote unquote, uh, was built within the original system and is uh, not like the original system and actually counters against the original system. And so uh, we must know a little bit about both systems in order to know how to extract ourselves. And so uh, I, we were talking, uh, Tammy, earlier uh, about this issue of uh, the other side knowing exactly um, what's up with, uh, let me see if I can find it here, I've got it here somewhere. Oh, here it is. I put on the on the uh, um, Skype screen there the uh, link to to this. And what this is is a uh, transcript from that. Uh, it, it's called uh, the Bar Watch Bulletin for Sunday, August eighth, two thousand ten. And the issue uh, that they were going to be talking about, not that it's important, but that, but their issue they were going to talk, be talking about in California was same-sex marriage and Proposition 8. Be, that was before uh, the Supreme Court case on that same-sex marriage uh, came down. And the key, keynote speaker's name was David Boies, B-O-I-E-S, who is a very prominent attorney within the crowd of attorneys. Uh, he also served as the lead counsel for Al Gore in the 2000 presidential election challenge, uh, which proves that he's a pretty high top attorney because Al Gore had money, and you don't. And on his, I don't think he would choose a green law school law school graduate to fight this uh, his issue there on the election challenge, and he didn't. I'm sure because when you go to David Boy's bio, you'll find he's in everything you can imagine. Uh, but anyway, uh, he made some remarks at this um, speech, uh, on his, in his keynote speech at the uh, annual meeting. And this is the most important thing that he said that lets us know that even the attorneys know uh, how this country was originally created and for who it was created. Uh, and uh, I don't know how many attorneys were at that meeting but I'm sure there were plenty. And uh, what were they referring to um, with the original creation? Well, they were re they were just he was going he re referred to the creation of the original nation and who those people who the nation was created for in his right. Kingdom. And what did that have to do with uh, Proposition Eight or the? Uh, uh, well, same-sex marriage. That's a good, well, he works into, uh, you know, the Bar Association has always had a uh, um, plan to uh, make everybody equal uh, under the law in this nation uh, in, and, and get, away, get away from class. 
uh, which you right. can't. It's right, right, and it, whilst at the same time promoting disparity. Yes, absolutely. Because the minute the minute that you come in and say, um, "I'm transgendered," or "I'm gay," or "I'm homosexual," "I'm lesbian," it's the same thing as if I was calling myself a female. It makes you a genus or a stock option in a corporation. Right. Right. And so once you're pit against each other. And your rights are stolen by concept. Now, gays don't have right to what? Marriage. That means that not only has the Congress taken away their right to marriage, now they're offering to sell it to you by court process. Right. Right. Well, they, so, they never had not, it in the first place, not, not in this country. Say that again. I said they never had the right in this country in the first place in the very beginning because all of the states. Because of the lawmakers, because of Congress. Because Congress came in speaking out both sides of their mouth. Well, it was because of Christianity. That's why. Because Christianity does not accept um, homosexuality. That's why. That's the reason why. And this country was set up as a Christian nation. And there's no doubt about that. You can go back to all the history and it proves it up. But anyway, to get back to the statement that he made in this uh, Bar Watch Bulletin uh, transcript, uh, this is what he said: "Quote: We are a country like co we are a country like most countries of we's and they's. In other words, class. Okay, we have a class society. They are the we's who are the real citizens, the people who have all the rights." And then there are the days who are outside that circle. There you go. There's your class. And despite the lofty rhetoric of the founding of our country, the fact that we are. I would like anybody to quote me from the Bible where Jesus said that homosexuality was a sin. Because in 1 Corinthians 6, he said you can only fornicate by giving your body over to a Lord God. Somebody who owns it. Well, I can't quote the chapter and verse, but I know it's in there. There's five places in there. Deuteronomy. That, uh, that's what priests like to, to promote. Now, Deuteronomy, that, the etymology on that word means second word, second Torah. And just like Exodus, that word means outside of God, exodus. Right. And Genesis refers to the doctrine, doctrine to teach three times of a biogenesis, meaning away from life, mind, and soul. Right. So when you when we come here and and the human race patronizes or calls Congress its father as patriots, they're actually calling the Lord God their father and giving the body over and fornicating with Congress. Well, they are today. They're doing that today, but that's in the that's in the modern system. They didn't do that originally. The original system was not like that. It, they're only doing it today because that's the way it was recreated. They recreated that uh, their own system, new system, starting with the bankers in 1913. Uh, also, well, actually, it went all goes all the way back to actually 1870, and I can prove that. Uh, since 1870, we have not had a lawful government since 1870, a certain date in 1870. And uh, and after I get to quoting this, I can prove what I'm talking about there on that part. But anyway, he goes on and he says this. Um, uh, let's see. And despite the lofty rhetoric of the founding of our country, the fact that we all know is that at the time the we circle, and remember those are the ones that had all the rights, uh, was extremely small, surrounded by a lot of they's. Now here's the here's the kicker. Here's the here's the big ball of wax. Essentially, the people that had the benefit of the rule of law, the people who had the benefit of liberty, equality and protection of fundamental rights were, are you guys sitting down, white male property owners, end of quote. Now, they know Right, and that was the judges. Now, this is the story of Moses. Now, the bank, defined in Black's Law Dictionary, first edition, 1891, is defined as a bench or seat, the bench or tribunal occupied by the judges, the seat of judgment, a court. The full bench or full court, the assembly of all the judges of a court, 
A sitting in bank is a meeting for all the judges of a court, usually for the purpose of hearing arguments, hunter mirrors, points reserved, motions on new trial, etc. As distinguished from the sitting of a single judge at the Assisi's or at Nisi Prius and from trials at bar. But in this sense, bank is the more usual form of the word. So they started out a corporation banking human beings. Stock well, that's not, that, that didn't originally do that, no. The original setup was not that way. It is now. But it no, has, it has been created. They, it they has created as a civil war. Confederacy. Defined in their own dictionary. Confederacy maintains as a criminal enterprise or conspiracy. Well, Let me I'm, grab that definition. Now, Confederacy, the... Um, when you go to the etymology and everything is is quite interesting. It means with federation or articles of agreement, going into a corporation, incorporating. Uh, there's many different uh, synonyms as well, including league. It's a league of nation when it's operating on the high seas. I know these things are hard to hear. But it's, it's absolutely disgusting the amount of indoctrination that they have implicated against the human being. Um, I mean, these things are, are disgusting because I had the same history you have that I learned in their indoctrination institutions called public schools. And not once were we taught to question them or anything as they held us all in shadow and enslaved us through those articles of incorporation. Right. Right. Well, they, they, it it couldn't happen except there's only one reason why it happened, and that's the reason why I brought up the fact that <clears throat> the people who were in under the article, I mean, under the uh, preamble, that they did not identify. Uh, this attorney just identified them. Okay, they're not just attorneys. White male, they they weren't just white male property owners. They were also female too the, the male and female anglo-saxon persons were the ones who claimed this land they are the uh, landowners they are the ones who with inheritance and so on and so forth because they do have inheritance because they bequeathed it to their posterity and posterity has two definitions and it didn't have a race on it um when you go back into the history you can go to the treaty of westphalia and treaty of eastphalia and they were called Germans then. Before they were called Germans, they were called Romans. So the race, again, or the well, it, it, national not, identity or whatever, is just there as a concept to, to throw the mind away from, we're dealing with attorneys. Well, no, I know. We were dealing with attorneys, not then. We weren't dealing with attorneys then. We were, there were lawyers, but they were not attorneys. And that's, there's a big difference between a lawyer and an attorney, like the Gulf, uh, you know, like between here and the sun. That's the difference. Uh, but, right. uh, but the word attorney the the means to pay homage to another lord god or landlord. Exactly. exactly. And an attorney, were, an attorney is not patronizing you. They're patronizing another Lord God or landlord. Right. And this has always been the same thing. He, they were not patronizing the human being at that time at the Articles of Confederation or even prior to that charter. Now, a charter is, is uh, the strongest law, of course. Then you have treaties, you have Articles of Incorporation or whatever, but those charters were never obliterated. They were moving as per market conditions. And what this stems from is it's called seen die. It means without a day, without a death. It just changes according to market conditions, and you can follow this all the way back to the Charters of Rusu, the Athenian constitution, agrarian laws um, put about by Caesar. And Caesar is the same one that Jesus maintains in the Bible. Right. These all of attorneys, these things have these to be... Attorneys, these attorneys are different. The attorney no, is the same a solicitor. Or a solicitor. Okay, and right. I, know th I know this because I was talking to a lady at the Bureau of Land Management, and she never returned. She never referred to uh, a legal eagle, their legal eagles, as attorneys. She only referred to them as their solicitors. And I said, right. to me, right. they're, says, well, they're called corporate counsel. They sit on the Association of Corporate Counsel. 
And this same council, it's like the Council of Nicaea, same one. You go all the way back to the Council of Nicaea. Right. You have um, all of them. Now, right, the I general know. council, the general council itself was the ecumenical council back at Greece. Now, you have the same history, the same program designed over and over and over again. And this only changes according to market conditions. Now, Confederacy defined in Black's Law Dictionary, first edition, 1891, is, quote, in criminal law, the association or banding together of two or more persons for the purpose of committing an act or furthering an enterprise which is forbidden by law, or which, though lawful in itself, becomes unlawful when made the object of the Confederacy. Conspiracy is a more technical term for this offense. The act of two or more persons who combine together to do any damage or injury to another, or to do an unlawful act. Now, this part is the uh, kicker here. The last two, three words is C, federal government, which is very interesting to read because, as we all know, Congress is your transgressor. The one that the same one that shut up the kingdom of heaven, the same one that imposed its judiciary through the 1798 Judiciary Act upon mankind by which to bank them as stock options in a corporation. And this same corporation continues on and on and on. And you can follow this all the way back to the British East Indian Trading Corporation. This is the same Congress. It's the same Congress that was there when Portugal had the seas. It's the same Congress that was there when Spain had the seas. Anyway, what, what I found was that, um, you know, they did not identify who the people were of this nation in the preamble. And so if you go to the original, they go to the very first acts which was penned by Thomas Jefferson, by the way, if you go back to the congressional record, you'll find that he actually penned the first Naturalization Acts, and in within that Naturalization Act, it identifies who the people were. And you know, the, 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 the uh, Declaration of Independence, it says, when one people. Uh, also, I want to uh, point to a, a word in there that I used to not even know what it meant, you know, and, and I finally one day looked it up and no, Webster's 1828. And the, the word candid, you know, they said, uh, let this be uh, to a candid world. And I wondered what that word candid meant. So I went and looked it up. And the very first definition, the very first number one definition of the word candid in Noah Webster's was white. So what they were saying was, let this declaration be to a white world. It wasn't to all the people obviously, because they couldn't accept all the other people. They could only accept their own. And that's what posterity means. If you look at the definition of posterity, it has two actual definitions. One uh, is the actual lineage of those people, uh, their blood, okay, lineage. And then you have the other, which means stock or race. And it, within the Constitution... And you have the actuality from the etymology on... Posterity, which means to be in the action of being a post heir. Yes, yes, they were they were heirs of those. No, but no, no. That, posterity. Not all posterity of refers to the post heir, which means it's not the heir. Yeah, yeah, the it's other post right, heir, right, and right. so they were they were engineering a corporation, industrializing a corporation that again seceded all of the human beings' estates, right and preempted their ability to garner their inheritance by shutting up the kingdom of heaven through congressional action and court process. Well, in the beginning, they didn't do that. That's been done since since 1870, since after the Civil War. The so what is good, all the beginning okay, did, not, wanna, did not do anything. You want to go back to that time, but what is the good part about that time? So far, you've told me that they were racist okay. right. and they were sexist. And they no, were against. No, they were, no, they were creating a nation. They were creating a na a proper uh, the way the definition of nation means. If you go to Noah Webster's and look at the word nation, 
you'll find they were creating a nation properly under the definition of it. And that is a people with the same heritage, languages, characteristics. Uh, that's what nation is. It's a people. Okay, so what they were doing was, was setting it up just like all the other nations have set it up before in in history. A nation, a nation or foreign state defined by law is under 28 U.S.C. subsection 1603. It means a corporation. That's foreign. That's foreign. What you're reading is the foreign uh, so-called law. It's not law. It's foreign. It's fiction. None of that has any bearing upon the original setup of this country at all whatsoever. None. Because the word, lexicon, what, what the word happened? lexicon, the word lexicon means with law. And what had happened is they used language and psychology to pervert the human mind in order to accept concepts as real. Now, well, tell, what me, happened was, what tell I, me again the physical state of law, because there's no physical state of law. There's no such thing as law. It is a fiction. And Bouvier says this in Bouvier's uh, Law Dictionary is adapted to the U.S. Constitution in several states no, no, where no. truth is fiction of law no. does not exist. Law, law, law is what established the nation. That's law. Right. And you want to go back to the time that they were racist, sexist, and against gays, correct? You, ha you have no choice. You have no choice. If you want to get away from the system that's created today, you have no choice because the law is the law. No, no, no. That's I already it. love everybody so i already took my choice i don't operate under the doctrine of election which maintains you get a benefit or a right never both and you're never the heir and this goes along with when you're electing that type of of uh governance you are electing to take a benefit or a right never ever ever your own inheritance and this goes back to beneficial abstinence if we are obtaining your right to be the heir under the doctrine of election and you know promoting something like that is just it's foul i i don't get it because you're promoting concepts that are i, I mean it, it's not according to humanity it's actually according to the corporate structure so what you're patronizing is of course the lord god and what you're patronizing is the demigod and the golden calf uh, operating under rules of Baalism or the action of Baal, which is actually piracy, worshipping a demigod called Marduk. But you want to claim that that's Christianity. And Jesus no. was against all forms of mainstream religion. This nation was, this nation was absolutely uh, created at a time when no other nation was set up like it. And what and and we know there there's absolute proof that that when it was done, that the hand of God Himself was in it, and if it was, that means that what they did at that time was done in harmony with Scripture and with all with His. Uh, uh, As I said, you want to have evidence me where in the Scripture it tells us that we should hate our neighbors and hate everybody else in name. It doesn't say hate your neighbors. It says love your brother and your sister. And it does not mean it, the Bible The Bible was not written for everybody. It was only written for one group. And yeah. So it says so in in uh, Genesis 5.1. It says this is the book of the generations. Of not legally married and contracted with the state. I have brothers and sisters that are all different variants and shades of vitamin D exposure. It depends on how much sunlight they have. And um, I love them. And uh, these, right. con these concepts don't jive with me, of well, course. There's 12, there's 12 the tribes, the remember? There was 12 tribes of the people, of the Anglo-Saxon people. There was 12 no, tribes. We're I mean, that's that's complete and utter crap. You go to the etymology on Judea, that means with God's law, right? Judea, it's God's law. Twelve Judea. times. Judea. God's. Yeah, and in goes. Revelation 19, it says God is what? It says he's the one that walks as God. It doesn't talk as God. It doesn't pretend to be God. And it surely isn't sitting at the right hand of Moses, which Jesus really went off on on Matthew 23. He says, what the heck are you doing sitting at the right hand of a judge and rather than the hand of God, the right hand of God? And he repeated it over and over again. First Corinthians 6. 
He says, I'm ashamed of you for taking this in front of other judges. Don't you know that you're going to be judging the saints? And yet you'll allow, allow somebody to represent you. First Corinthians 6, you'll allow yourself to fornicate with that Lord God or Congress, the transgressor. And you'll call it Father by patronizing it and its flag. Yes, they do that today for sure because that, that system that was set up is a system to bail. That's the problem. Absolutely. It went, it went so far away from Christianity from the original intent of the framers it's that we're not, even, we're not even doing anything today like like the original intent was. Right. None. Nothing. Yeah, I can't be racist. That's why it's gone away from what it was. Because they were racist and they were criminals. It has nothing to do with racist. It has to do with setting up a nation. A nation is set up of one people, just like China. Just like I said, you go to China, you can't be a citizen ever in China the care. way a China, Chinaman is. Same way here. Concept of place. place. I don't place myself there. I have, I have brothers and sisters that are variants on vitamin D exposure. I don't see them as Chinese. Chinese is a concept. Or American. America is a concept. No. Chinese is a race of people. No, it isn't. I'm yes, only of the race. They're I'm Asiatic. only of the race. You tell me how my DNA differs from your DNA or any other DNA on this planet. All, I'm the all, same piece all, as a human all, being. All DNAs are different regardless of who they are. But I am the same if race. You look my, at, if you look at different races, they are similar in the race, but they're different from other races. They okay, are different. But Right. And if you read Revelation, you'll find out that you're purchasing these concepts from the law merchant and fornicating with the Lord God.